Praise God, dear viewer. Um, I'm privileged again today to have an opportunity to share with you what's been in the heart of the Lord. My name is Apostolise uh, Wamaida. I am born again. I love Jesus. He's been faithful. He's been amazing. He's had mercy upon me. And with his precious blood, he has rescued me from my sin and from death. And um, it's just a, another opportunity I wanted to share what God has been putting in my heart for quite some time now. I haven't been on air since uh, May uh, for some personal reasons, but I'm back now. And I feel some of the prophecies that the Lord has been giving me about to start being accomplished. And so it's a good time to start sharing them. Um, first things first, I think I'll go to international prophecies. Um, around last uh, year in November, uh, the Lord was showing me about this big stone that was falling from the heavens. And uh, in that vision, there was a, a piece of that stone went across um, towards Kuresoi. Now, this is an actual fulfillment of, of what happened. So it went to Kuresoi, uh, burned somebody's house. It wasn't reported much in the media, but we did get to hear it in um, some of the local radio stations in Kameme or um, uh, Inoro and we had two or three websites that recorded it. And the reason why I'm bringing it up again, even after it has been fulfilled, is because of the next part of that dream that the Lord had shown me. Um, in the dream, there was a big stone. I don't know if it's a meteorite or an asteroid, I don't have a scientific term for it. But it came all the way from the heavens and fell. And when it fell, I first saw uh, the first bit of it with what happened in Curacao. Then the second bit of it, I saw myself in, I guess, America, in a country I've never been to abroad. And I could see there was a big red bridge. And the red bridge got covered by water from, as an effect of this stone. And I saw buildings, people jumping off of high buildings um, in, in the shock. And there was a big traffic jams and people crashing into each other because everyone was busy looking at the sky. And uh, there was a shockwave and, you know, there was just chaos. It almost looked like some, something from the movies. That's all I can explain because I've never been to this nation um, where, where this, this thing was affecting. And immediately I was taken a few seconds forward and I saw the sun suddenly turn blood red. So it sort of looked like early hours of the morning, but then suddenly within a few seconds, the sun moved from east to west and it looked like a sunset. And when people were busy staring and wondering what was going on and, and, and you know, there was a lot of chaos. There was fires, there was flooding, there was earthquakes, there was just a lot of chaos. I, I can't really explain it. And I've shared this, uh, for those who've been following me for some time, I've shared this dream for quite some time now. But I, I, I was a bit concerned because I know it is the beginning of uh, birth pains in bath pains to usher in the coming of the Lord, bath pains to clean out the church and prepare the bride of Christ so that we can be ready and we can be prepared uh, that the Lord is coming for us. But my issue was I did not know how to fully explain or com you know, comprehend what I saw in the dream. All I knew it was a disaster. And uh, it's uh, interesting because um, I was away on maternity leave for some time and one good thing that comes out of it, except the beautiful baby that the Lord has given me, was um, the chance to really sit and rest, listen to what the Lord is saying, and do some research as well. Because a lot of times we reach to a point where prophets are not heard anymore, yet fake prophets are being listened to. So I wanted to sort of look around the world and see, has anybody else heard about this? Because it is of such great impact that I believe the Lord has shared it. And I believe at the mouth of two or three witnesses, let a thing be established, so that says the Bible. So when I was looking around the, you know, the internet, the Lord led me one time to look in Prophecy Club. And um, I was looking around to see if anyone has heard of a meteorite or a stone falling from heaven, um, and a lot of other prophecies that the Lord had been showing me that were of such an international nature. And I found um, a prophet from Puerto Rico called uh, Ephraim Rodriguez. He actually was told about this, he calls a meteorite, the meteorite falling from the heavens. 
way 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 before i ever was told by the lord and he's been sharing this on the internet he's been sharing this on prophecy club he's been going to different nations he stood boldly and said this thing is going to fall and it's going to fall in puerto rico and there's going to be such shock waves in within america and from the explanations that he's been given it's basically a bunch of dreams that i've been getting over the last year and the last year and a half and now they make sense because it's he sees it coming and he, he sort of seems to have a bigger picture but i've seen it in bits and pieces of what is going to happen and uh, i thanked god so much when i saw this because i said okay great i'm not crazy or um there's nothing wrong with me god is actually speaking and i can actually now get to a point where i can share this message all i want to say those of you who want to look please search Ephraim rodriguez he's um, uh, a prophet of god and i can confirm that what he's saying is true because the lord himself has been showing me this over time before i even thought about looking on the net and um the, the after effects of the sun turning blood red, the after effects of tsunamis and the after effects of, 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 of earthquakes are things that I've seen on separate occasions, on separate dreams. Um, which brings me to the second part of uh, what I wanted to share. Um, at the end of July, I remember uh, I'd just come back home um, and the Lord gave me an audible voice. Or, and I had the Spirit of God talking to me and telling me a big disaster is coming to Australia. And as I was sitting there, I had a daytime vision. And this daytime vision involved, I could see uh, where I used to live when I was in Australia. I started in Sydney and uh, I had an apartment just next to the harbor. And it was on the 11th floor. And in this vision, I started seeing a big wave, so big that it was coming. Um, towards the apartment I was in, it almost looked like a big wave or a big um, shock wave, a, a big something strange from the ocean came and hit the mainland. And when it did, I could see fires, I could see flooding, I could see chaos. I, it, it was, it was so confound, so I can't even explain it. And I was sitting there with a friend of mine in Germany when the Lord was giving me this vision in Munich, and I told my friend, the Lord has just spoken to me. And he's told me something about Australia. Let's pray for Australia and figure out how do we get this message across. And that was just one bit of, of, of what I saw in July. And um, later on in mid-September, I had a dream. And in this dream, there was uh, warnings of a big earthquake, warnings of something disastrous coming to the world. But people had gotten so used to the message that they didn't care anymore. It had been you know, prophesied for a few years. And so I could see nobody cared. And I was with somebody I care with very, uh, I care about and who's very close to my heart. And I believe the Lord let me see that person in the dream because he represents three nations or at least three places I know where he would be. He has got uh, a connection to Florida. He has got a connection to Washington and he's got a connection to Haiti. And in the dream, uh, I could see him sitting with his friends and I was trying to warn him and tell him, please come out of this place. A big earthquake is coming. The end is coming. But he was a bit scared to walk away from his friends because he did not want to be associated with a crazy prophet. So he dilly dallied for a bit. And then I heard the Lord speak to me clearly. And he said, two more minutes left. This is the highlight of the message. The message has been given by other prophets around the world. According to Prophecy Club, this message has been given for the last few years for more, by more than 13 prophets. But before I knew about it, this time the Lord told me two more minutes, which means it's very near. Because the last uh, one I checked, somebody was saying they were told 20 more minutes. But in this dream, I had two more minutes. And I tried to plead with him. I told him, please, let's get out of this building. And I tried to tell this one, they were all laughing and scoffing and thought I've completely lost my mind. So then I had the Lord speak to me again and said, it is now, come out, let me save you. Come out of them, let me save you. And I saw myself going out of the building and I stood somewhere in the middle of the ground. And suddenly there was a loud bang, a loud blast. And this blast sounded like, I mean, I've survived bomb attacks. So it is like that, but times a hundred. It was so loud and immediately the ground started to crack open and it was not cracking small cracks it was cracking like story deep cracks 
there was all these uh, contours opening and the ground was shifting and then the buildings started to get swallowed in and the bits started to crack in bits literally sliding apart with the earth and uh, I, I, I was left there crying and mourning for this person and saying you know you need to come out but um, at the end of it all uh, he needed to go back to get something and when he went to pick that something no matter how much I begged him he went back to pick up the item that he thought was more important which was a watch which is represent which is representative in the spiritual realm but when he went to pick up his watch i told him you know you better get back here within the next two minutes if you can run faster than light because by the time you get back this will be over and then i woke up and i was interceding in the spirit of god and i was praying in tongues and asking god lord what is this you just showed me i shared it with the person but at that time i still did not understand what i've actually just seen so that was a second bit of 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 what i believe is going to be the aftermath of that of that meteorite or asteroid hitting the earth um, the other thing that I saw, which was now in mid-October, so the, the, the prophecies have been coming faster and faster and continuous. And in mid-October, just before I've traveled back to the country, um, I saw a dream. And in this dream, there was this prophet that the Lord had spoken to about this asteroid hitting the earth. Let me call it an asteroid because that's, from my research, that's what they call it. And when um, the governments were not very happy about this information, so they had hired assassins to hit the people who had this information. They did not want the information to go to the masses because it was going to bring mass panic. So I was in this um, vision or dream, so to speak, where, you know, basically the, the, the servants of God who had this message were being, um, being assassinated or they were, there was an attempt on their life. And suddenly, when everything had been planned and they were just about to execute um, one of us who knew this information, suddenly there was a big flood. I don't know where it came from, but then suddenly, tall skyscrapers, tall skyscrapers in the US, tall skyscrapers in other countries got covered up by water. And so there was nowhere to escape. In just a few minutes, the whole place was flooded and people were hanging to the very top and the very roofs of the skyscraper. So this was the, the magnitude of the flood. And uh, I remember I was fast forwarded months later and I could see uh, people who loved the Lord, Christians who were truly born again and who the Lord had rescued and had them prepared, had food. And the ones who had been trying to kill them didn't have any food. So they were showing them love because at this point no weapons could fight you know, could fight anybody. So they were trying to share the food that they had stored up with the few people who had survived. But then I got lifted up from this uh, vision and I, uh, where I could see them on top of the roofs and they were trying to help each other out. So that was in um, mid-October. So this, for me, as I've been asking the Lord, explain to me what you've been showing me. How do I share this message? I've shared this with my spiritual mother for a long time and said, look, the Lord is telling me very heavy things. I don't know how to share them. I don't know in what context. And now that I've done my research, I truly believe I've been shown the aftermath of this thing happening. And because the first bit of the dream happened with a, a, you know, a, a stone from the heavens going across Lake Naivasha, going across Nakuru, going towards Western, and landing somewhere in the, you know, in the Rift Valley. I truly believe that's a sign that the same God who gave that information to me a few months before, and it happened, is the same God who's going to come to bring this other part to come to pass. From, no, this is not what the Lord has told me, but from the research I've, 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 I've put across and from what Ephraim Rodriguez was told, this is judgment. It's supposed to be judgment to the, to the Americas and to the United States specifically because of what sin has been has escalated to the point where god cannot stand it anymore i will not go into the details of that but all i know is that that um judgment is going to have repercussions across the world including kenya why we are next to the ocean so if that kind of an impact that kind of an asteroid hits the world the earthquakes are going to affect kenya the earthquakes are going to affect parts of the world the tsunamis that are so tall that they can cover up skyscrapers are going to affect the whole world. We have got so many people 
in the US. It's not a message of fear, but it's a message of hope. Why? It is a good time for us to start discussing and for us to start evangelizing the Son of the Living God and the salvation He has given us. Jesus, Son of God, loves us, wants to save people, but we have got to turn away from our sins. The Word of God tells us very clearly that sin is a reproach to any nations. So, we ourselves in this nation also need to work on ourselves. The church needs to get its act together. We need to get ourselves to, together as pastors, as, as, as uh, servants of God, in whatever capacity, in whatever office you're sitting in. I, myself, I've been asking the Lord to have mercy upon me. I've been telling God, sort me out. There's a lot of things that I've been just repenting and God, Lord, you need to sort me out because I don't want to be one of those people who is going to die or who is going to have repercussions and then I'm going to be left behind wondering, where were you, Lord? So, go online, check it out. My work is a watchman. I've sent out the message, I've sent out the warning, look in the, in, in the media, look, prepare yourself, ask the Holy Spirit of God. He's our teacher, he's our friend. Ask the Holy Spirit to tell you if this is true. Because this message has been given by so many different people and when you start to sort of circulate it, you hear people saying, oh, I dreamt this, oh, I dreamt that. The Lord has been speaking, we have not been listening. So, God bless you so much. I love you all and uh, I'm hoping and believing that this has been of help to you and may God just touch you in his own special way. In Jesus' name, be blessed.